Week 37, name them. When did America lose its soul? When did America turn its back on the most vulnerable of us? When did we lose it? It was January 22nd, 1973. It was the same day that the most evil president of all time died a week old man at an early age. I guess evil has to have a presence going at all times. A day didn't pass from one evil to another. Roe vs. Wade was one of the most corrupt legal decisions of all time. In the 7-2 decision, the Supreme Court struck down a Texas law, a Texas law, mind you, not a federal law, a Texas law, which banned abortion. At that time, the most states banned abortion. A few states did not. Abortion was considered legal in Alaska, Washington, Hawaii, and New York. States' rights were violated in this way. The Supreme Court decided that the Texas abortion law violated the 14th Amendment. Let's read the 14th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution and see for ourselves. 14th Amendment, Section 1. All persons born or naturalized in the United States and subject to the jurisdiction thereof are citizens of the United States and of the state wherein they reside. No state shall make or enforce any law which shall abridge the privileges or immunities of citizens of the United States, nor shall any state deprive any person of life. Ironic, isn't it? Liberty or property without due process of law, nor deny to any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the laws. Section 2. Representatives shall be apportioned among the several states according to their respective numbers, counting the whole number of persons in each state, excluding Indians not taxed. But when the right to vote at any election for the choice of electors for President and Vice President of the United States, representatives in Congress, the executive and judicial officers of a state, or the members of the legislature thereof, is denied to any male inhabitants, and, and as an addendum the 19th Amendment allows female inhabitants, of such state being 21 years of age, and the citizens of the United States, or in any way abridged except for participation in rebellion or other crime. The basis of representation therein shall be reduced in proportion which the number of such male citizens shall bear to the whole number of male citizens 21 years of age in such state. Section 3. No person shall be a senator or representative in Congress or elector of president and vice president or hold any office, civil or military, under the United States or under any state who, having previously taken an oath as a member of Congress or as an officer of the United States, or as a member of any state legislature, or as an executive or judicial officer of any state, to support the Constitution of the United States, shall have engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the same, or given aid or comfort to the enemies thereof. But Congress may, by a vote of two-thirds of each house, remove such disability. So if you have an insurrection, Congress can choose to forgive you. Section 4. The validity of the public debt of the United States authorized by law, including debts incurred for payments of pensions and bounties for services in suppressing insurrection or rebellion, shall not be questioned. But neither the United States nor any state shall assume or pay any debt or obligation incurred in aid of insurrection or rebellion against the United States or any claim for the loss of emancipation of any slave. But all such debts, obligations, and claims shall be held illegal and void. Section 5, pretty simple. Congress shall have the power to enforce by appropriate legislation the provisions of this article. That was the 14th Amendment, I believe. That's uh, what the Supreme Court was deciding on, saying Texas was violating. We'll get more on that in a minute. Now here's the 10th Amendment. It's pretty simple, and you need to know the 10th Amendment to understand what happened. Here's the 10th Amendment. The power is not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it, to the states are reserved to the states respectively or to the people so whatever powers congress does not have they're reserved for the states and whatever ones that are not delineated there are reserved to you and me what was their argument on january 22, 1973 the supreme court in a 7-2 decision struck down the texas law banning abortion effectively legalizing the procedure nationwide in a majority of opinion written by Justice Blackburn, the court declared that a woman's right to an abortion was implicit in the right to privacy protected by the 14th Amendment. Huh. 
Okay, I just read the 14th Amendment. I don't remember a right to privacy there. What does implicit mean? Capable of being understood from something else, though unexpressed. Implied. So, Justice Blackburn is pulling something out of thin air. There's not really a right to privacy in the Constitution, so they had to imply it. And having an abortion really doesn't violate your right to privacy? I'm not sure. But what about the right of the individual who is in your stomach? I'll continue on. Henry Wade was the district attorney for Dallas County. The lawsuit was brought on behalf of Norma McCorvey, who was trying to get an abortion. She became the Roe in the Roe vs. Wade. Henry Wade was the same DA that prosecuted the CIA patsy, Lee Harvey Oswald. So who were the seven justices who should have been impeached for an obvious overreach of taking the case? Justice Harry Blackburn, may God have mercy on his soul. Justice Warren E. Berger, may God have mercy on his soul. Justice William O. Douglas, may God have mercy on his soul. Justice William J. Brennan Jr., may God have mercy on his soul. Justice Potter Stewart, may God have mercy on his soul. Justice Thurgood Marshall, may God have mercy on his soul. Justice Lewis Franklin Powell Jr., may God have mercy on his soul. Justice Byron White and Justice William Hobbs Rehnquist knew it was wrong. Did they know they should not have taken the case? Who knows? They voted against this fictional law that was dreamed up. Those seven justices should have been impeached, especially the ones who accepted the hearing. They still can if we ever have a Congress that is not owned by the richest people in the world, a satanic cult, and part of a more than 1,000 year old crime family. Now, I shall name our fallen ones who were never given a chance to fight for their own lives. May God have mercy on our souls for allowing this to happen. And may these unborn children take pity upon us on Judgment Day as they sit in judgment with El Shaddai. We will talk about Norma McCorvey in a later week. Keaton Alyssa, Harper Grace, Pierce Gordon, Francine Margaret, Rebecca Lucille, Deborah Kenzie, Rowan Heinrich, Kirsten Kylia, Nancy Kayla, Lisa Wendy, Louise Anna, May Bella, Archer Gamble, Asher Kid Shane, Forrest Sky, Agatha Marlene, Madeline Rose, Luther Triumph, Estella Marianne, Vincent Reynaldo, Luca Laurie Fay, Lucas Benjamin, Kay Yarrow, Susan Michelle, Margaret Elizabeth Ann, Brenda Joanna, Susanna Payden, Eric Allen, Justin Harold, Corliss Wayne Gordon, Quintus Anthony, Vito Leonard, Yoko Saki, Obi Miley, Akashi Banzai, Chani Gale, Lucius Archibald, Craig Orlin, Millicent Nicole, Ava Louisa, Alistair Corbo, Audrey Linnea, Selena Catherine, Annie Misty, Karen Zolta, Vincenzo Joseph, Mary Olive, Olivia Belinda, Mavis Ann Mara, Jelena Pepper, Inigo Ramos, Arbel Denton, Arlene Denise, Abigail Fern, Elizabeth Charlotte, Gwendolyn Audrey, Delaney Sarah, Everest Rainier, K. Tulip, Hermano Luis, Trenton Remus, Catherine Ann Mary, Patricia Lemmy, Anton Bartholomew, Kelsey Simone, Wolfgang Jacob, Serhi Anton, 
Lapisa Holly, Dirk Randolph, Cheryl Labilla, Tansy Gertrude, Fallon Morena, Beverly Barbara, Kelly Linda B, Starry Edwina, Yacht Chiron, Baron Noble, Lucas Charles, Hemlock Holly, Cherokee Riverwind, Katie Aminda, LeVar Fulton, Fulcrum Bernardo, Lucy Quintessa, Corey Ramada, Artifice Oliver, Chamomile Doran, Creesa Francine, Duquesne Gerard, Duncan Connor, Kanoi April, June Idaho, Diana Dina, Rachel Rowena, Jolie Marna, Amity Laurel, Amherst Donnelly, Allison Seven, Ezra Dellis, Nazara Anye, Turcot Linus, Kenji Olive, Zenia Raven, Justina Carley, Anastina Mary, Twyla Roxanne, Liberty Columbia, Lorna Vernea, Connor Sparrow, Cardinal Michael Mellick. Thank you for watching Name Them 37. God bless.